There is no place for racism. That's a message from the superintendent of the Air Force Academy after someone wrote racial slurs on five black cadet candidates' dorm room doors. Our Sean Chitness live near the Academy tonight, and Sean, the Academy is taking this very seriously. Well, Dominic, it certainly sounds that way based on that strong message from the superintendent of the academy. He says that kind of thinking, what was written on those message boards, has no place here. And if anyone disagrees, they should get out. If you're outraged by those words, then you're in the right place. Those words were, go home and the N-word, written on dry erase boards outside dorms for five cadet candidates at the academy's preparatory school. You should be outraged not only as an airman, but as a human being. The superintendent for the academy addressed faculty, staff, and thousands of cadets at lunch. That the appropriate response for horrible language and horrible ideas is a better idea. The prep school is a 10-month program that helps cadet candidates enter into the Air Force Academy. The power that we come from all walks of life, that we come from all parts of this country, that we come from all races, we come from all backgrounds, gender, all makeup, all upbringing. The power of that diversity comes together and makes us that much more powerful. That's a much better idea than small thinking and horrible ideas. While the superintendent didn't repeat what was written, he made it clear he was speaking to those that used a racial slur toward cadet candidates. No one can write on a board and question our values. No one can take that away from us. And he challenged everyone in the room to record his message on their phones and share it with others. If you can't treat someone with dignity and respect, then you need to get out. And the Academy also says that the 10th Security Forces Squadron is looking into this case and they can't release any more information until that investigation is complete. Live at the Air Force Academy, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First. Thank you, Sean.